What's up guys? You know, I like many people am only just starting out uh, with the Mario Maker series for the first time on Mario Maker 2. I didn't have access to Mario Maker 1 and I liked the game a whole lot. There's one problem that I've found though is that I had not been able to Kaizo. So I decided that I would make a level to help learn Kaizo techniques and uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys today. So I decided I needed to make a level to help me learn some of the Kaizo techniques so that I could get along it. And more importantly, learn the Kaizo techniques without punishment, without having to lose or restart at the beginning of the game, uh, the beginning of the level, just to try out a Kaizo trick again that I, that I failed maybe a, a few times trying to learn. The level is called Kaizo for Beginners. Essentially what you do here is uh, this is just a place in low gravity for you to learn the basic mechanics of shell jumping and how they work. And when you get enough practice, you'll be able to do it almost every single try. The next up, you have the ba -bomb, which is just simple bouncing on a ba -bomb. But he blows up. Next up is the ba -bomb ladder, where you need to do bounces on the ba -bomb to get up to the top. Next up is the POW drop that you can do anywhere inside that box, and you should be able to make, up, make it up here with a large jump. After you do the POW jump, then there's P jumps that obviously I'm still, that I still suck at. Okay, I missed one. Then a spring drop where you can put inside anywhere inside that box and you can make it up here and then finally a Yoshi jump to finish it all off then you have here the exit now you might be thinking to yourself well I could just cheese all this couldn't I couldn't I just cheese that wall and just glitch myself through this map make it easier for myself well, I, if you check over here, there is clearly a pipe that, set, that is clearly marked as the exit. And in these pipes, you can reach every single location we were just at. So if you wanted to go back and practice your shell jumping, you can do that right back at the beginning and redo it all. So there is no need to try to outplay anybody in this map. After you get enough practice doing jumps inside low gravity and you can understand the main concepts, you can move over to normal gravity. Yeah. <laughs> 
Before I made this level, I was I could not Kaizo at all. So if it helped me, maybe it'll help you. Have fun out there. And toodaloo.